Okay, today is our first day of our LG 6 cubic foot compressor refrigerator install. And the very first thing you do is remove your vent covers. It's just one screw. Uh, it's just one screw at the top and then there's a sliding mechanism that you slide up and it comes off of this little uh, it comes off of this little fitting. So just push this slider up on the grill and take this screw out. The whole uh, grill cover will um, pull out from this side and detach from these little tabs over here. Now, as far as the inside goes, you, uh, you want to make sure you shut off all your power, uh, your coach battery switch, you're disconnected from shore power. Uh, this is the drain tube for the refrigerator and you can see there's some water coming out of it. So uh, make sure that you clean your refrigerator out, that you don't have uh, any uh, food items or, you know, any items and that there's no, um, you know, melted uh, water. There's no water around um, that can leak out as you're moving the refrigerator. Now what we're going to do in here this is the propane line. So we're actually gonna be disconnecting this and I'm gonna be going under the coach to plug off, disconnect this line from the manif propane manifold underneath and uh, cap it off. So this will be completely disconnected um, from the manifold. Then we're going to uh, detach all these wires and um, uh, disconnect them. It's just a plug in. Uh, disconnect the refrigerator detach, you know, we're, we're gonna cut all this off and unplug the refrigerator power uh, Here's your plug-in Here's your plug-in for your uh, 120 volt power. You can go ahead and pull that um, Yeah, this is you know short power operation 120 VAC and then um, So we'll basically undo all this get it all disconnected and then we will um, disconnect it from the front and pull it out of the frame. So let's get started. Okay, so I've crawled under the rig and we're actually gonna disconnect the, the refrigerator propane line from this propane manifold underneath the rig. And we're gonna be disconnecting this one and capping it off. We're gonna be using three eighths inch flare fittings. These are plugs. And then uh, a cap. 3 8 inch flare cap. So you're going to plug one end. You're going to plug you're going to plug this and you're going to cap this one coming out of the manifold. You'll need uh, an adjustable wrench for that or a couple of Okay, so here we have it. We plugged one end and we capped the manifold off. And I just plugged that end of that refrigerator propane line, you know, just to keep, you know, bugs or anything from, from getting into it, spiders, whatever, um, because they could, you know, crawl up and get in the coach, um, as well as just air. It would be a, an avenue for, you know, any kind of hot air infiltration into your coach. So now we're done. Open this up little things. You have one on each side of the door and then down here. So you're looking for all these little pieces. And what you're going to do is pop that off and inside This could be too big. Inside there's going to be a, I think, I believe it's a Roberson. Yeah, the small number one Roberson. Oh, if you want to grab my um, electric. The drill? Yeah. So that's how you do it. Now we're going to go through and take all of them out. Hit or done. Thank you. 
kind of thin. This thing weighs a hundred pounds, so it's not something you want to have to handle on your own. You want me to be pushing or anything? I can uh, be yeah, can it, you push right? the bottom? Yeah, easily. getting stuck on the pantry door handle and we still have to clear this chimney assembly from the, um, the medic doesn't so uh, okay so we got it out of the hole uh, which was quite tedious and now we're gonna walk it to the front door to the door careful. be careful that screen So the next order of business is to um, basically remove all this stuff on the back wall, remove all this board, this trimming, because we basically want to turn this into just one big cavity, and then we're going to be uh, insulating the back wall and closing it off. So we'll get started on that now. Basically, we're just deconstructing so the problem is you know I don't know where it looks like leisure used a lot of um, staples so I don't know about 18 and 3 eighths of an inch to this board. So we aren't gonna have to remove this frame, which which, will, which is good, because that, you know, less work. Okay. And that's it. Okay. okay, so we are basically going to line this entire wall, close this off, this opening off, everything closed, 
and covered with Reflectix insulation. I'm going to use two layers, possibly three layers, um, you know, because more is better. And then we're going to uh, install a couple of fans um, to uh, push the hot air out that the compressor, uh, refrigerator compressor produces. And then uh, we'll back our way, we'll put the refrigerator in and back our way out through that hole. And this hole down here will be the very last thing that we close up at the end of our installation. I thought maybe um, if we get, take a piece of aluminum sheet and cut, you know, cut it outside of that and then just double side tape it or Okay, now I have the back wall covered with Reflectix all the way up to the top over the um, piece of sheet metal that we put to cover the hole. And then we are wiring a switch to the front of this, to the front corner right here. And that's going to be this, uh, there's going to be an outlet in the back where he's working right now uh, that the refrigerator will plug into but it will be controlled by a switch at the very bottom corner of this cabinet and the refrigerator is going to be sitting up so um, it will be out of the way and you know uh, easy to use okay we have our um, switch on our refrigerator outlet installed we just installed our uh, fan, and uh, we're going to hook it up to the white and yellow main 12-volt power supply that's fed by the fuse panel, and we'll be ready to put the refrigerator in. The refrigerator in. I put a strap from the refrigerator to the back of this compartment to hold it down. This is the uh, drain tube for the refrigerator. We'll secure that when we close off the back. Uh, our fan is up there. Looks great. Um, we have all the feet secured. So we have those in place with some L brackets to hold them. And uh, we have the cord that we'll plug into this outlet when we get ready. Um, but looks good. And there's the refrigerator. We're finishing up. We still have this gap. On the bottom, we're going to install that switch in the corner and we'll fill that gap with some nice grating. So, we'll show you that when we get done. Okay, I've got my water line connected now. So, that's all ready to go. So, uh, I put in this, this edging around the uh, frame of the uh, grill vent, the ventilation opening, so I can put a piece of sheet metal there with double-sided tape and seal that off and then caulk around it. So th this is where we're at. Okay, now I added a small panel of Reflectix to finish the Reflectix lining down the whole uh, wall. And now I'm going to cut out a piece of sheet metal uh, to fit over the hole and uh, attach to those flanges I made. Okay, so I made my cutout uh, for the bottom vent. I have the um, drain tube sticking out. So now all I need to do is caulk this 
we had already um, put a cover from the inside um, on the inside wall to seal off that um, that vent. So now all I, I need to do is caulk around it and then we'll be able to put the grills back on. Let me do that. Okay. I got this caught. Just need to do the other one and I'm done. All right, uh, second opening caught. So we're just waiting for that to dry and we can, I'm gonna put a piece of Reflectix in both uh, vents. Um, just for another barrier of insulation and then the grill cover back on. So we'll wait for this to dry. Okay, I'm using some decorative trim that I got at uh, Home Depot. It's a satin nickel finish. And here's some of the tools I'm going to be using. But I'm going to make a grill to cover this opening below the refrigerator. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, I have my uh, grating done, and I just have it test fitted for now um, to make sure I like it. But I, I think it looks pretty good. This is what it looks like more from a standing height, so you really can't, you can hardly see it, but uh, it does look nice.